Come on, Lord. It does? Yeah. Oh. That one goes backwards. <laughs> what? That one goes backwards. That just went forward and backwards. Oh. Yeah. Just have this little 18 volt battery. So it'll go faster on 24 volts. Looks good though. I started making this car for the kids years ago, before two of them were even born. And uh, I just, you know, left it, put it aside, because I was doing other things, then I built my house and blah, blah, blah. And apparently I left it like really close to done. Yesterday I started messing around with it, realized all I need to do is attach a motor and a chain. I was thinking about putting pedal power in, but right now I'm just going to put a motor in. And the steering basically works. I just need to have something to secure this. Some kind of handlebar, steering wheel, maybe a big steering wheel, that'd be kind of cool. And then something to attach this piece down to there, other than just, you know, the, you know these things. And then battery power, solar power, probably put a, I'll probably put a solar panel on the roof for starters. It would be good to get a battery in this thing. This is a nice little space right here. This is a cool car. Man, I, I know it's for the kids, sort of, but man, this is this will be great for me. Cool car. <laughs> Alright, next is figuring out the steering. Yeah, it's pretty cool steering. And the geometry here where these come in help it so that the outer wheel turns less than the inner No, back up. Sorry, I got naked kids trying to get in the... I'm not naked. You're not naked, but your two-year-old sister is. All right. Uh, the easiest thing to do is let's just attach this to this. Maybe put a plate here, rivet it up there, rivet it down here, and then a couple things like, like this to keep it from moving you know, this way. Piece here, piece there, the bent. Yeah, rivet it down there, rivet it up here. Ooh, I can't rivet it to the bottom. Um, I'll figure it out. All right, let me do piece here first, something. Yeah, look how cool that is. Oh, that's so awesome. This is a stainless chain, too. That stuff back there is not stainless. But everything else is. Oh, yeah. Uh, the wheel hubs are not stainless. Yeah, I wanted to make this stainless so it would last a long time. So your grandkids can drive it. Can you imagine that? When you have grandkids one day, they can drive this around. And you can tell them about when you were a little kid and you were building it with your grandpa. Well, I mean with your papa. With their great grandpa. Oh my gosh. That's... I only have this motor attached with two bolts. It has another two bolt holes. I could attach something from here back to there. Dude, can you hear me talking? Mr. Mr. Rude Mouth? <laughs> Yeah, give me give me like 30 seconds. So I might attach something from these bolts to back there. I don't know. What do you want? What's going on? Did you forget? Well, that shot's 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, that is stiff now. Nice. Man, that is stiff on there now. Good stuff. All right, I don't think I need to do anything else up there. It doesn't need a front plate at all. Okay, steering. Oh man, if I get steering going, this thing's almost working. Okay, it's connected well at the bottom. Just need like some some collar here that attaches attaches here and then down here. It's nice and sturdy. Maybe a bit of roller bearing action in there, maybe. Although there are two options here. I could do the steering just as is, or I could put a big gear on this, running to a smaller gear, so that it's, it's easier to steer. Ah. Like right now, it's kind of got, you know, like, go-kart steering, where you, you turn the wheel a little bit, the wheels turn a lot, and, it might get hard to steer if one wheel hits like a rock and then like pushes back, it's gonna push on little kid's hands easily. So maybe I should gear down the steering. Or, I don't know, what do you, what do you guys think? <laughs> you know, do you even know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just do it the way it is and see how it goes. No. Just leave it like this. I don't. Put a collar here. I only have silver Maybe make a nice big steering wheel so it's like you get a lot of leverage from a big steering wheel. So I'll aim it up a little bit. Yeah, I'll aim it up a little bit. If it's a smaller steering wheel, I can aim it back. But if it's, if it's going to be a big steering wheel... David, look, a fish is gliding. Yeah, I think I'd rather have a big steering wheel than have an extra, extra gear. David, look. You know, when I really think about it, I think I need to gear down the steering. Otherwise, kids aren't going to be able to steer it. Like on a smooth surface, they'd have no problem. But like, yeah, a wheel hits a rock, the steering is going to like, it's going to like pull out of their hands. So I'm thinking I make. A, I do actually have some sprockets, but I, I want to make one. I'm going to make a big sprocket for this on here, and. I'll probably just use one of the little sprockets I have because I have a whole bunch of these these little guys here. Stainless steel too, so yeah. Um, I'll make this sprocket out of aluminum aluminum because I don't have thick enough stainless to do it. And the the gears I made back here, that's aluminum aluminum. Seems pretty strong. Anyway, so I'll make a big aluminum aluminum gear to go on here. And then a small gear over here. And then, you know, I'll cut this off, of course. And then the gearing will actually be offset. So I can make it, yeah, make the chairs back here. Driver sits here, passenger there. And the steering wheel's off to the side, just like a normal car. And is there space? Like if the, the thing comes right here, nothing will hit it, right? Yeah, should be fine. All right, I think that's what I have to do. Okay, so next order of business is put a sprocket here. And one nice thing about the sprocket is I can connect the sprocket to this. So this isn't just being turned by this, because there's going to be a lot of stress on this piece with the steering. I don't want it to rip out. So big sprocket, it'll be bolted through into here with a spacer, so obviously the chain isn't hitting here. And then the chain over to a little one, and then that'll be the real steering. All right, I do have another option here. I could put the the sprocket under here, and then it could go to another sprocket that's right here, which would be centered. No, I, I want it off to the side, because that'll be cool, because then there'll be a, a driver and a passenger spot. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good idea. Oh, man, this thing's coming together nice. <laughs> cool, this is gonna be so awesome. Man, I hope the I hope the whole drive system is strong enough to go up some decent hills. Well, we'll see. Of course, I can always do modifications.